It is not easy being a woman living in the city. I mean, you have to compete for equal pay, search endlessly for a decent apartment, and jump through hoops just to find an eligible date. But don't feel bad for me, and I'll tell you why. At 33, I just landed a job working at my alma mater, Douglas University, as an assistant psychology professor. Yes, holla at your girl. And to add to my awesome life, I have a great boyfriend named Derek who plays professional basketball and four amazing girlfriends who, unfortunately, they don't always play by the rules. Girl, you put your foot in that omelet. Makes me want to do the stinky leg. Okay, instead of doing whatever that is, why don't you finish getting ready for work? All right. Uh, but can I use your bathroom first? Sure you can. Oh! Wait a minute. As long as you don't do number two. But that's what I was going to do. Ew. I have to drop a couple of deuces, you know, park my car in the porcelain bowl. Oh! No, 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 no. 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 Are you serious? Yeah, you're not defecating in my apartment. Mm-mm. What the hell is defecating? No, 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 no. What is wrong with me using your bathroom? I don't want to smell your poop. She's a loony too. Are you kidding? I have to take the train to work. There's a coffee shop by the train station. You should go there. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing the sex is good. <laughs> so uh, wrong for that. Whatever. She's not I'm wrong. Right. Yo, you're foul. I'm not foul. <laughs> you are. Come on, you see nothing wrong with what you did? Look, I've only been dating Daryl for one month, okay? That is way too soon for me to be smelling what he had for dinner last night. Wow. Let me get this straight. You sent that man on the train all the way to work, uh -huh. knowing he had to go to the bathroom, and you don't see nothing wrong with that? Uh -huh. That's real bitchy hazel. Look, I didn't do okay. anything wrong, okay? It's my house. I will make my own rules. I have to agree with Hazel on this one. I have a strict policy against any man having a bowel movement at my place. When I get married, there will be separate toilet spaces with his and hers bathrooms. <laughs> okay, so your place reeks for a couple of minutes. You can deal with that. Mm -mm. See, I don't know about that. That lingering smell could give you a one-two to knock you out cold. But ladies, where's the compassion? Exactly. When you hold it in, you know it can cause hemorrhoids or damage to the colon. And you heard it here first from <laughs> Nurse Simone. I hope that dude had his cheeks extra tight. <laughs> Today I'm meeting Ashley, Brooklyn, and Hazel for our monthly girls outing. It is always a treat hanging out with my girlfriends from Douglas University. Hopefully it goes well. You'll see what I mean. Guys, this is a really nice restaurant. Isn't it? I'm surprised I never heard of this place. So what's the wait time before we get a table? Oh, only about 20 minutes. Okay. Oh, let me get that. That must be Hazel. Oh, good. She's 10 minutes away. Perfect. Perfect timing. I can order a lemon drop. Uh, and please take it to the head. I'm tired of you nursing one drink all night long. Okay, you know how I get when I have more than one martini. It's all fun and games until the next morning I wake up with a pounding headache. <laughs> Lightweight. Clearly not worth the pain. <laughs> and that is why I don't indulge. Well, you will want to indulge in Brooklyn's narrative of her orgasmatic income mm. with a man. What did I miss? <laughs> okay, so you didn't miss much but I was telling Ashley how I met this cutie at Coat Check. Ooh, details, please. <laughs> so he was tall, handsome, athletic built, with a beautiful smile. You know how I'm a sucker for a nice teeth. Did you get his number? No, I would never ask a man for his number. Besides, he should have asked for mine, which he didn't. Well, his loss. Exactly. Who wouldn't want all of this? <laughs> the difference between me and you is I have no hangups asking a man for his number. It keeps me in total control. I'll call you when I'm ready to make the first date. Ooh, look out for Miss Alpha Woman over here. <laughs> she knows exactly what she wants. Yes. Ooh, look at him. He's right over there. To the left with the blue blazer. He's gorgeous. Definitely pleasing in the eye. Mm, didn't I tell you? Well, I think he's coming over here. Yeah, I think you're right. <clears throat> Hey, lady. 
was wondering when you disappeared, too. Abracadabra, here I am. It's like a comedian, I see. <laughs> Only on my days off. <laughs> so what's your name, this lady? My name is Brooklyn, and these are my girlfriends, Ashley and Naya. I'm Andy. Nice to meet you all. Likewise. Why don't you have a seat? Uh, no, I can't stay long, but thank you. Are you here long? As a matter of fact, I am. Oh, I'm stunned. It's not that often you find an attractive man dining alone on a Saturday afternoon. I feel like a loser right now. <laughs> not at all. Are you single? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Just curious oh. minds want to know. It's fine. Yes, I'm single. But I wouldn't mind being in a relationship with the right one. <clears throat> How about we change the topic? I agree. So, uh, what did you order off the menu? At the lemon shrimp. It's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll have you know that Miss Brooklyn over here, she's not just a wisecracker, but she is an amazing chef. You can throw down. Okay. Well, brunch is by far my favorite meal. Okay, I could cook a little something something. How about a tasty frittata or pumpkin ginger waffles? A little biscuit with mushroom gravy. And chicken I, and waffles. I can make a delicious shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits? Mm -hmm. now, that's my favorite. I can make it for you if you like. Shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits? Mm -hmm. I can make it for you if you like. Women have unwritten rules of friendships. Some call it the girl code, but I simply refer to these principles as the unspoken rules of friendship. The things that we do or don't do to maintain our unbreakable bond. So, I ask the question, why would a friend pursue the same man you're interested in? Let's see how this unravels.